Today, let's talk about Simon, ship's cat for HMS Amethyst, survivor of the 1949 Yangtze incident and the only cat ever to be awarded the Dickin Medal, the animal equivalent of the Victoria Cross. Simon was born on the streets of Hong Kong, most likely sometime in 1947, and his early life was spent scavenging for food in the dockyards. This was how he met 17-year-old ordinary seaman George Hickenbottom of HMS Amethyst, when the ship stopped there to resupply in early 1948. Hickenbottom was rather taken with the young malnourished tuxedo kitty and decided that Amethyst's lack of a ship's cat needed addressing. To avoid the possibility of disagreement with this plan, Simon was smuggled aboard under his tunic past the watch. Unfortunately for George, he was quartered close to the captain's cabin, which Simon very quickly realised was better kitted out for long snoozes. Indeed, Simon discovered that upturned captain's hats were particularly comfy, to the surprise of Lieutenant Commander Griffiths, who was actually the ship's captain. The secret out, Griffith, who was luckily a cat lover, agreed that Simon could take up post as ordinary sea cat, with one caveat. To quote George himself, he warned me that if he saw any muck on board, he'd have me up on a charge. Simon quickly became a respected member of the crew. He was a keen rat hunter and a regular in the mess area where his party trick was plucking ice cubes out of people's drinks with a claw. All this could have changed in late 1948 when Lieutenant Commander Skinner assumed command of the ship, but luckily it was quickly discovered that he was a cat lover too. Simon stayed and so did his hat privileges, which were particularly important to him by that point. Simon's rat hunting became a particularly huge benefit for a ship that was constantly plagued by them due to its station in the kind of Far East. Skinner and Simon also formed a close bond, and with Captain's cabin and hat privileges reconfirmed, Simon kind of stayed there quite a lot. In 1949, HMS Amethyst was ordered to steam up the Yangtze and relieve HMS Consort, which was standing as a guard ship for the British Embassy at Nanjing during the Chinese Civil War. Unfortunately, mistaking her passage for an American naval intervention, Amethyst was heavily shelled by the PLA. Salvos ripped through the bridge and elsewhere, killing Captain Skinner and the whole bridge crew. Amethyst slewed and grounded. The wounded radio man managed one single message. We're under heavy fire. I'm aground in approximately position 3110 north and 11920 east. Large numbers of casualties sustained. With about 50 men dead and wounded now on Amethyst, the shelling stopped. Any attempt to refloat or move, however, provoked more shelling and sniper fire. A stalemate now ensued as the British rushed ships to assist and negotiations with the Chinese communists began. Ordinary sea cat Simon had been in the captain's cabin when a shell hit. It sent shrapnel flying. Badly wounded in back and legs, his whiskers singed off, he dragged himself to safety in a gangway to wait out the shelling. There he seems to have lost consciousness. Negotiations dragged on and Amethyst was stranded. The most serious wounded were evacuated to the far bank and Lieutenant Commander Kierans, the naval attaché from Nanjing, arrived to take command. After a few days, Simon was finally found. He dragged himself onto the deck, wounded and weak, where he was found by sailors. Simon was rushed to the temporary sick bay, where the relief medical officer worked hard to remove the shrapnel and patch him up. The operation was successful, but weak and with his heart failing, Simon was not expected to survive the night. Somehow Simon survived. The remaining crew took turns nursing him as much in hope as expectation. A few days later, Simon was left alone briefly as the crew gathered to commit their own lost colleagues to the water. When they turned, they found Simon had joined them at the funeral. As the stalemate dragged on into weeks, Simon became a vital part of the crew once again. Stranded with few supplies, rats became an increasing problem for the ship. Despite the crew's efforts to stop him, Simon resumed hunting them in spite of his obvious pain. When not hunting rats, the wounded Simon would spend most of his time in sickbay, where he would purr, knead and head boop other wounded and sick sailors, before curling up next to them and snoozing. For a young, scared crew, he became more than just a ship's cat. To them he was a talisman. Lieutenant Commander Kierans was not a cat man. On arrival, he had ordered that if they made it out, Simon should be put ashore. In June, Kieran himself, though, fell seriously ill, and he was confined to sickbay with a high fever. He awoke to find Simon purring alongside him. 
the Assure Order was revoked. With the situation becoming desperate, morale worsened as the Amethyst prepped for a desperate dash to the sea. It was now that Simon finally managed to catch the largest rat on the ship which had plagued the crew for months, lifting everyone's mood. Kieran's in recognition promoted him to Able Sea Cat. On the night of the 30th of July 1949, Amethyst successfully made a break for the sea. In the aftermath, the crew insisted Simon deserved an Amethyst campaign medal as much as the crew. Kieran agreed. One was unofficially issued to Able Sea Cat Simon. While repairing in Hong Kong, the ship also received a message from the Armed Forces Mascot Club suggesting that Simon qualified for the Dickin Medal. This is the highest award for gallantry or devotion that can be granted to animals serving with the British Armed Forces or Civil Defence Units. And then, on the 10th of August 1949, the award was confirmed. Able Sea Cat Simon of HMS Amethyst became the 54th and so far only feline recipient of the Dickin Medal. A collar in the medal's ribbon colours was sent to Hong Kong and issued to Simon as an honour guard was stood. The citation read, Able Sea Cat Simon, for distinguished and meritorious service on HMS Amethyst you are hereby awarded the Distinguished Amethyst Campaign Ribbon. Be it known that on April 26, 1949, though recovering from wounds, when HMS Amethyst was standing off by Rose Bay, you did single-handedly and unarmed stalk down and destroy Mayo, the rat guilty of raiding food supplies which were critically short. Be it further known that from April 22nd to August 4th, you did rid HMS Amethyst of pestilence and vermin with unrelenting faithfulness. The plan was to issue the Sea Cat with his full medal on the ship's return to the UK in December 1949, but Simon's health was still poor and during quarantine on arrival back in the UK, Simon developed acute enteritis. Vets fought to save him. Crew members took turns to stand watch. Simon quietly passed away in his sleep on the 28th of November 1949, as a member of Amethyst's crew stood watch over him, just as he had stood watch over them. Devastated, but proud of their colleague, the crew organised a full burial with honours. Simon was placed gently in a specially made casket. He was draped in a Union Jack and buried with full naval honours in the pet cemetery in Ilford, attended by the crew he loved and who loved him back. You can still visit him there today. If you do visit Simon in the pet cemetery in Ilford, you will find inscribed on his stone the words that his crew buried him with. In memory of Simon, served in HMS Amethyst, May 1948 to September 1949, awarded Dickin Medal, August 1949, died 28th of November 1949. Throughout the Yangtze incident, his behaviour was of the highest order. <laughs>